Well, it's another hot day here in Mostar, Bosnia. I haven't gotten a haircut in probably over two months. Realized it was a little too long, so I thought, why not give it a shot? Again, in your place, you have more people in your highway. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> the place you can go, you can eat some traditional foods, you have some traditional cakes. They did such a good job. They were so fun. Yeah, honestly, great conversation. Yeah. They were telling us a bunch of stuff to do outside of the touristy areas, and they were just talking about the U.S. and how different it is and everything. Honestly, 10 out of 10. Haircut, conversation, friendliness. Clips and cuts. So we got a recommendation from the um, man that was cutting my hair. I wish I got his name, he was so nice. Yeah. And he told us that it's super local, it's kind of away from the main old town. So we're gonna go check it out. Apparently they have a fig cake. That yeah, is... he said it's made out of like a fig syrup and like the fig jelly. I don't... I don't know. We'll have to go see what it's like, but he said it's very good. Okay, so we found the spot that Hunter's Barber told us about. It's definitely off the beaten path a little bit, but it looks amazing and we haven't really ate much today we just had some PBJ sandwiches so we decided to load up and we got the traditional stew we got salad and then we each got our own dishes and we will be getting the food dessert <laughs> round one The traditional Bosnian stew is excellent. There's nothing that makes me more happy than a massive spread of food. We're trying to figure out what this tastes like. And there's so many different flavors that come to mind. Coffee is one of them. Pretzels is another one, but it's sweet at the same time, not overpowering sweet. It's such a unique flavor and I definitely would have never tried this if he didn't recommend it to us, so I'm really glad that I did. And it's odd, because when I first had it, I was like, oh, I do not like this. But the more I keep eating it, the more I like it. So I'm not quite sure what to make of it, but it's like oddly good. We got all of that food for 20 euros. It's finally not 90 degrees outside. <laughs> it is much cooler out, way more pleasant to walk around. So we are headed to the beach to hopefully get some nice photos not go swimming <laughs> it is one yes. of the coldest rivers in the world yes so we're currently standing next to the Nuretva river and it starts in bosnia and runs all the way through croatia into the adriatic sea and it's known to be one of the coldest rivers in the world. It usually hangs out around 8 degrees Celsius. And earlier when it was really hot outside, I put my feet in to cool off. And at first I was like, oh, this is so refreshing. It's not even that cold. And after a couple minutes, I realized my feet were going numb. So it is in fact very cold. <laughs>
So behind me is the Crooked Bridge, which is a very small version of the old bridge. They said they used it for practice before they built the real one. that we're gonna get dinner anyway because you know we're here why not so we came to this restaurant Iman Iman or Iman not quite sure but it seems super good our waiter is so nice he said he's gonna subscribe to our channel so we love that and Hunter got dolma which is a really traditional Bosnian meal it's like meat and rice wrapped inside like vine leaves or something. I'm not quite sure, but it sounds delicious. And then I got the local trout. So, you know, we'll try each other's. How does one simply eat a whole trout? <laughs> Hunter, what do you think? I think the closest thing I could compare it to would be like a stuffed pepper. Even though I don't think it was a pepper, it was like a leaf, but it was really, really good. And mine was delicious also. The spinach, I don't know how they make it, but it was the best like sauteed spinach I've ever had. The fish, I've never eaten a fish, like a full fish like that before. Alicia's just ripping bone out of the <laughs> fish. It was crazy. Yeah, it was delicious though. And our waiter was just fantastic. He really subscribed to the channel. Yeah. He was, he was super sweet. excited about it. Yeah, it was so sweet. So it was a great night all in all. And ice cream. Of course, Hunter cannot <laughs> say no. We're averaging like two gelato trips a day. It's not my fault. <laughs> It's kind of late. It's like 11 o'clock. So we had a really great full day here in Bosnia. Yeah. And, and I think I say this in every single location, but I'll definitely be sad to leave. <laughs> yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah. But tomorrow we are headed back into Croatia to go to Dubrovnik. Dun, 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 dun,